Hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. Today's episode is going to be all about pattern, putting a pattern together on the new body of water. That's what we're doing today. I got a little something going, but man, it's uh, it's hard to find specifically what I'm looking for. We're going to get all into it. That's all coming up. So here we are guys, we're on a new body of water and I'm trying to break it down quickly and try to have a productive day. I only got a few hours out here and I've, it's been crazy. I'm on Dale Hollow. It's been known for smallmouth. Of course there's good largemouth in here as well. And I found some really, really good fish and I've tried a few other things. Uh, you know, I fished some bluff walls, I threw whopper ploppers around, and I can get a bite or two, but to get some some good, good solid fish today, the only thing I've been able to do is fish grass. Yeah, there's actually some grass here. Now the water dropped about 30 feet from what I'm told over the last month or two, so it's um, it's very low, and there's not a whole lot of grass available. In fact, I've been running all over. I'm sure this place is massive. I'm sure there's a bunch of good grass areas, but I found two of them. I only found two spots where I've been able to put some fish together. So here's how it went down. I had all intentions of throwing top water with this whopper plopper and busting up some big smallmouth. And I did get some good smallmouth, but I just so happened I came around this corner and you can barely see about two feet from that bank in front of me there's a grass edge and I thought do I really need to bring out a frog here why not it's worth a shot you got no milk. That's a stud. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. A little frog action. Are we onto something? Man, we might be. We might be. So what caught my eye was I was going down the bluff wall with a whopper plopper and I came around the corner and I saw the matted up grass. And my first cast, boom, really nice largemouth. And so I fished the rest of that. I had one other blow up and then I went back and uh, flipped to it and caught one more fish. So I was like, okay, that's what I got to do. And I remember, so here's the cool part. Never, it's been years since I've been here. I, I couldn't even tell you where I fished last time I was here. I came through this area early in the morning. It was still almost dark. Throwing a whopper plopper, came up around here and I saw this grass and it didn't hit me at the time. I was like, Oh, okay, there's a little grass. And I, I believe I was heading this way, and I chucked my whopper plopper at the edge of it, didn't get anything, and then just kept going down this bluff wall, thinking that was what the deal was. So I bypassed this. Then when I found that grass earlier today, I realized, hey, you know, I caught those fish out of it, and I remembered, I remembered seeing this little grass patch. So I actually came back around. I actually hit another point further that I thought was this, this point. And there was no grass and then i came in here and i had one blow up i saw a good fish and i just caught that nice one here so i'm really excited but at the same time i'm not because there's it's hard to find grass Be, from here to the other spot where i caught fish is probably three miles and i stopped at a bunch of areas just to do a quick look because you can't see it from way out there you got to be right tight to the bank in order to see that and this is all I could find I'm running out of time unfortunately so I'm gonna keep looking around and maybe we can catch a few more fish I got I was like it was just a stud I mean that's a nice fish 
That was awesome. Oh, that's a good fish. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see me set the hook on that one. Beautiful fish. So you can see what I'm fishing here. It's just matted up grass tight to the shoreline. That's it. Out here it just drops off. You know, you're 15, 20 feet of water out here. And all my fish have been coming out of little 40, 50 yard sections of grass. Oh man. Well, I'll tell you what, instead of chasing patterns and just randomly fishing with I only have a couple hours so I'm going to I'm just gonna keep looking for grass if I can find one more patch I think I'll catch a couple more good bass out of it seems like it's good for three to four fish and that's it so now I'm just driving around hitting every pocket every cut every point I figured it out. The blue herons on the bank typically were hanging around the grass beds. Keep searching. some more that was crazy let's catch them see that bird that blue heron up on the bank that's what's helping me key in they're hanging around this grass edge to do some searching but I was rewarded with another fish started to rain on me I'm gonna keep still going because again I came across a small section of grass I had that one little guy and then uh, missed that one so oh I wish I knew this place better there's gotta be hundreds of these little patches I think you can win a tournament on this pattern right now from what I've seen like if if I was here for a tournament Today would be running, just marking grass, little grass patches. That's all I would be doing. And as I was jumping to grass bed to grass bed, crossing this cut, imagine that. I noticed there was a few smallmouth hanging around, so why not? Let's take that spinning rod out and drop a tube on their heads. These fish were hitting it before it even hit the bottom most of the time. I'm just free spooling it and they grab it. There you go. 
Hello. It's a good one. I know I don't talk much about my electronics. Just keep it at that. All right, guys, I had enough fun for one day. I actually, uh, I gotta get back. We spent a few hours, put together a little pattern, and um, you know, once that the grass, once I couldn't find the grass, I ended up looking at my graph, going to another point, and uh, found a few bonus smallmouth there. So that's always fun. I'm gonna get out of the rain. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course, if you haven't already. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water. We'll be back out tomorrow. Mm -hmm.